many charity events in my time, and I can honestly say that I have never been more excited than I am at this moment. Tonight, the Alliance of Women Empowering Women is blessed with three extraordinary gals making a rare public appearance. They are the former First Ladies of the United States. And with me, they'll be reading excerpts from a Broadway show that empowers all women. The show, The Vagina Monologues. Hello, I'm Betty Ford. I'm Nancy Reagan. And I'm Barbara Bush. No pun intended. Vagina. Let me scream it from the mountaintop. I never felt free enough to say it before. I've referred to it as my you-know-what, or it. And on some occasions, Wilma. If your vagina had a nickname, what would it be? Susie. Sweetie. Sourpuss. <laughs> All faithful. The black box. <laughs> Itchy. <laughs> Through this mystical canal, a seed is planted in my womb. If your vagina was a tree, what would it be? A sapling. A barkless oak. A noble fir. A succulent. A petrified maple. A prickly cactus. I like to think of my vagina as a pet. Loyal, special, and oh-so-temperamental. Hmm. If your vagina were an animal, what would it be? A hairless Sharpay. <laughs> a fruit bat. A, a hedgehog. <laughs> a miniature schnauzer. A ferret. <laughs> a long-haired terrier. <laughs> I don't think that I can continue. <laughs> My vagina is at one with the earth because its cycle is the same. For some, it is a time of sweet spring rain, and for us others, it's a low, stinky tide. <laughs> if your vagina was a natural disaster, what would it be? A monsoon. A drought. Acid rain. A mudslide. An ice storm. A sinkhole. V. Validate it. A. Adore it. G. Grab it. <laughs> I. Ignite it. N. Nurture it. A. Air it up. Vagina. 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 <laughs> <laughs> 